position. You don't need to be an angel to do kind things and to change people's lives. Tonight, a movement kicks off to spread kindness throughout the community. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Growing up, Cameron Freeman always wanted to help people. But when his life came to an early end, his parents picked up where he left off. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Cole Miller has more on the Cameron effect in tonight's top story. Vanessa, it's been almost two years now since Cameron Freeman was killed in a hit and run accident. And now his parents are spreading his message of kindness hoping to make their community a better place to live. In photos, Cameron Freeman is often seen smiling, enjoying life. He made it a point to reach out to people, offer his kindness in hopes of them passing it on. But in November of 2010, he was killed by a drunk driver while coming home from a concert in Lawrence. And out of the hurt, his parents are finding hope through the Cameron effect. I think Cameron would just be blown away, just blown away. I think he would be very, in awe. From now until December 7th, Shelly Freeman is asking everyone to do seven acts of kindness. They've even teamed up with Positivity Matters, a local group whose goal it is to make lives better. Out of all the activities that people can do to increase positive emotion in their life, doing acts of kindness is the best one. So the tie in with the Cameron effect and the acts of kindness is. A packed house filled a Nebraska Wesleyan lecture hall where the Freemans and their friends passed out these cards. Do good, feel good, pass it on, written on the top. And every time you perform an act of kindness, simply write it down. The cards can also be picked up at city libraries and Hy-Vee food stores. Everybody that's working on this are volunteers and it's just amazing the hours that they put in, the dedication, the passion. Um, they want to see it succeed. They want to see um, improvement in people's lives. And Shelly says that's exactly what her son would want. Cameron was human. He was a real kid and he wasn't, he wasn't always an angel and neither am I. Just ask anybody and they will tell you I am not an angel, but you don't need to be an angel to do kind things and to change people's lives. On December 7th, which is also Cameron's birthday, the cards will be turned in to the city libraries and Hy-Vee food stores where they'll be put together into a kindness quilt. It'll then be displayed at Sheldon Art Gallery. And his memory will always live on. Thank you, Cole. 11 years ago today, the terrorist attacks.